I just came back from the bed and they told me, you still not that girl. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Moji and for those of you guys who are new to my channel, on my channel I basically make opinion videos or videos about subjects that are on my mind or I just kind of make whatever I feel like making. So subscribe if you like my content, you guys can go through my videos and see. I just kind of make opinion videos. But for today's video, I'm going to be talking about the black women in luxury movement and I use quotes to say movement because I don't think it's a movement. So I'm just going to be talking about that and I actually kind of discussed this but I have a video called the bougie black woman where I kind of make an analysis about that archetype and you guys could check that out but from that video I think you guys can tell that I'm definitely like into bougie black women and black women that are kind of in that luxury lifestyle so to start off so you guys already know my opinion I definitely agree with black women in luxury and there's a lot of videos who have kind of talked about the downside of black women in luxury or who kind of dispel it and they don't really like it and I just want to start by saying that I do like it and I'm going to explain my opinion on it and I'm also going to explain why people don't like it so yeah I'm just going to be discussing that in today's video so I well first off let's start by defining what is luxury so luxury is defined as the state the state of great comfort and extravagant living or um, luxurious or of the nature of luxury so that is kind of the basic um, definition when you look up luxury that's the first definition that comes up that is so let's talk about what is the black woman in luxury movement so generally I don't like when people call things movements um, I don't like when people overanalyze things that don't need to be overanalyzed. I don't like to overanalyze things. I feel like some things are just black women who are kind of showing their wealth on the internet or are doing these luxury hauls or who have these Instagrams that are like travel Instagrams. I feel like it just is what it is and it doesn't need to be overanalyzed and like labeled a movement. I, for the past couple of months, I've been following a lot of these women on Instagram just because I've been finding more accounts. Since I made my bougie black woman video and that kind of took off, I've just gotten a lot more into like bougie black women just because I feel like I really like that archetype and I just kind of like seeing that lifestyle because I like to see black women happy and affluent and not struggling. I don't think it's a movement, I think it's just women who are rich who are showing off the fact that they're rich and that they have worked hard for the things that they have. And I realize what my issue is with the black luxury movement because I couldn't pinpoint it before but now I have um I feel as if it tells black women right because it does actually say this black women you deserve the world you deserve all of the nicest things and black women do deserve the world they do deserve all of the nicest things but all of the nicest things like all across the board but the black luxury movement is like you deserve the world and then it's like here's a bag Here's a vacation. Here is a photo of cottage core and life looking easy when life isn't actually that way. And I think it's because it's easier to acquire stuff than it is to take a deep look and be like, well, black women deserve protections within their romantic relationships. So what are we going to do about that? Black women deserve to go to hospitals and not die while they're giving birth. So what are we going to do about that? Black women deserve to go to colleges and schools and not feel like they're being belittled, right? When they're actually very intelligent and they're ahead of their classmates, what are we going to do about that? And black women deserve the world and they do deserve luxury, but they deserve it in all aspects of their life and not only with physical things. So there are a couple arguments that are against this movement, so I'm just going to go into those quickly. But essentially the overarching arguments are the fact that it's not sustainable for all black women, it's not attainable, and it's a very individualistic movement. So essentially um, the main argument is the fact that even if black women are rich, they're still going to face oppression, and they're still going to face racism, and they're still going to face misogyny, and they're still going to be impacted by the patriarchy. Those are the arguments. The fact that no matter how rich you get as a black woman, you're still going to face oppression, you're still going to face all of these issues. So it's not a movement that is going to help liberate black women. It's not a movement that's going to help liberate all black women. But my question is, whoever claimed that this movement was meant to liberate all black women? As I said, I don't think that it is a movement, but who said that it's a movement that needs to liberate all black women? It's literally black women that are showing off their wealth. How did we politicize them? Like, how did it go from a black woman celebrating the fact that she worked hard for what she has to her having to liberate all black women? Which goes so let's get into some arguments that are for the movement. These are my um, personal opinions. 
so basically when i was reading a couple of articles all the all the articles that i read i'm gonna link them down below but when i was reading um the first article i read they kind of listed off the main reasons why they liked the um black women in luxury movement uh the first reason was basically it was considered reparations for what is owed to black women obviously um what historically what black women have been through um, a lot of people consider this movement as reparations for what is owed to them. So they're celebrating life, they're living their life to the fullest, and they're not focusing on struggle love, they're not focusing on all these struggles. And this is going to be a controversial opinion, but this is my personal opinion, but I don't think that all people of color need to be social justice warriors. I really don't, and I think that it's kind of impossible for people to assume that all black people are going to be advocates and all black people are going to be activists or all people in color or minorities in general are going to be activists i don't think that all black people need to be um social justice warriors because some people just don't have it in them to have to fight every single day and some people just want to enjoy life and die that's it some people just want to be here have a fun time party not everyone is here to fight every single day and if that's what you want to do with your life then go ahead and do that and the second reason is basically it's kind of, um a lot of people see luxury in itself the black um the black women in luxury movement as kind of peace and harmony so this was a different type of luxury so a lot of people see luxury as um in terms of materialism but some people just see luxury as kind of being in peace and in harmony with yourself as a person which is something that i really um agree with i think that that's a different type of luxury that is not really discussed within the black women and luxury movement so that's another thing with the movement i feel like the movement is very um centered around materialism but i'm gonna get into that at the end of my video i'm gonna talk about that a bit but uh, it's very centered around materialism and not necessarily around self-care but some people they focus on self-care in terms of manifestation and journaling and all that so that's a different type but a lot of people they mainly focus on materialism because that's like an exemplar of wealth and not everyone can do self-care just because they don't have time or they have things going on in their life but i feel like a lot of people when they look at this movement they simply focus on materialism and they don't really focus on how luxury can be different ways so how you can just take care of yourself take care of your mental health exercise which are different types of luxuries but they're not as in your face as like a chanel bag and the last um kind of reason that a lot of people like this is um because it's considered as progress for black women and it's black women who have money and who kind of can show off their money and they can show off their wealth why is it that every time a black woman does something it has to be politicized and it has to be a bigger issue than it actually is I think that every time a black woman does something on the internet or just every time a black woman does something in general, it has to be taken out of proportion and it has to be a bigger thing than it actually is. For example, if a black woman wears a scarf to an airport, it's like a big deal and it's like, oh my god, black women should be wearing this or black women should be doing this. And I feel like, can y'all just leave black women alone? Because everyone else in the world can go eat dinner and can buy um luxurious item and items and not be critiqued but why is it when a black woman does it it's like oh my god you're terrible and you're individualistic and this is like not gonna help black people as a whole okay and so what well especially if you're a minority minority i think there's this kind of this misconception that as a minority all of your movements have to be centered around liberating your people and i think that as i said some people came on this earth to just kind of chill, have a good life, and die. And some people came on this earth to fight the patriarchy. Why can't minorities just enjoy life? Some people came on this earth to be Malcolm X and Dr. Umar and fight for the liberation of their people. And I don't knock you. If you don't want to do that, then you don't have to do that. And you shouldn't feel like you have to do that because not everyone has it in them to fight every day. Like, not everyone has it in them to be a warrior or whatever, a social justice warrior. So... I don't understand why is it that minorities can't just have fun and create movements around things that they're passionate about and things that they enjoy doing and why everything needs to be politicized and taken deeper than it actually is which in itself is a problem because it just shows that you just won't allow minorities to kind of live their life and have fun especially black women you won't allow black women to just have a good time because they have to constantly be thinking about the fact that their people are going to be looking at them as traitors because they're not liberating all black people when they I got my crack Kelly. You got a Kelly bag? How? There's a waiting list. Yeah, and your mama's back on it. <laughs> Tony, give me the bag. No, Tony. 
You cannot afford a $17,000 bag. But I worked hard for this bag. I deserve it. It's mine, and I'm not poor. All right, all right, no, you're not poor. It's her bag. She's earned it. Uh-huh. You're right, William. It's her life, and... Yeah. It's her bag. Nobody scams mama! Let me down, you mama's boy! Basically, the last thing that I wanted to talk about is do you value luxury and does it make you happy? So overall, my thing is, like, my overarching, like, thing that rules me as a person is i don't want to say happiness but like what would make me happy so i always think about it like if i was in their shoes and if i had all of these material items would i be happy and genuinely i don't think that i would be happy because i don't think that a chanel bag could make me happy i don't think buying like i feel like financial fr freedom would make me happy and being able to travel and being able to kind of sleep in and do whatever i want the ability to do whatever you want is what will make me happy the ability that no one is going to rule me and i can rule myself as a person and i have the autonomy to do whatever i want i feel like that's going to bring me true happiness and not necessarily buying a chanel bag or buying um super expensive shoes or just buying like material items i don't think material items can make me happy just because i'm not that much of a materialistic person if i'm being honest um i genuinely i wouldn't say i don't care like i like like nice things but like nice things don't rule me so i feel like the question that we need to ask ourselves if we're looking at these people and we're getting kind of jealous or we're just questioning it is if you were in their shoes would you be happy is it the material items that are making you happy or that are making you jealous or is it the financial freedom that they have that's making you je jealous and i feel like working towards financial freedom is a more um sustainable goal i think that we kind of like put these two things in the same category like having all of these items as well as being financially free and i don't think that they go together i think that you can be financially free and you don't have to purchase all of these items i think that you can do other things with your money but ultimately it is your money ultimately my whole spiel on my channel is live and let live allow individuals to live the lives that they want to and i think that you should be entitled to living the life that you want to so that is my thoughts on the whole black women luxury movement um if you guys agree with me tell me what you think if you guys disagree tell me what you think i would love to hear your thoughts um yeah so do you value luxury do you think that that would make you happy or do you think something else in this world is what your purpose is? Like, having those items would make me happy. I feel like buying it for a second and being like, oh my god, I bought this item, like, ooh, it's so nice. I think that, like, buying it would make me happy and working hard towards having it would make me happy. But the actual item in itself, I don't think a bag can bring you happiness. I think that that is really weird if exterior things are bringing you happiness. I think that happiness should be something that you have within yourself not something that you can get from someone else because that's when it becomes dangerous if you're seeking exterior sources to get your happiness but anyways that was my thoughts on uh the black woman in luxury movement if you guys agree tell me if you guys disagree tell me as well and if you guys like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up oh <laughs> my water bottle follow me on instagram um and that's the only social media i use instagram and youtube i don't have a twitter so yeah, follow me on Instagram and I will see you guys in my next video.